Hello everyone, this is Ankit Shivale and today we are going to solve problem 3. So your question is, consider the plots of figure 4.8c. So suppose you see in figure 4.8c for a differential pair using PMOS transistors. Now NMOS has been given in book solution, right? So NMOS has this type of characteristics. So this is the supply RD, RD, this is M1, M2 and this is M3 transistor. Now we will understand it and then we will solve it for PMOS. Okay? So for NMOS, I think people are very comfortable compared to PMOS, right? So this is NMOS, this is supply, this is RD, RD, this is two transistors and this is M3. So in earlier session, in earlier problem we solved, and we have seen that M3 uh, will reach uh, saturation earlier compared to M1, M2, when V in forward was 21.3 and VB was 1 volt. Okay? But actually this V in forward was given earlier, right? Now here, being gone mode itself is varying. So, if you see these figures, what this are stating you. So, what it's stating is, suppose the current that is flowing through this path is ID one, and the current that is flowing through this one is ID two, and this is the total current that is flowing ID right. So, or if this is ISS, you can say, okay. So, when you see ID one, ID two plot, this ID one and ID two with respect to being gone mode. What will happen if suppose this is V gone mode is less than threshold voltage? So VGS has to be greater than VTH, right? That's only this current will flow. So M1 and M2 will not be able to pass the current when V in power mode is less than VTH. So no current will flow. So this till VTH, you will have absolutely no current or some very small amount of current will flow. Okay. But as soon as it crosses the threshold voltage, the current will begin to flow from M1 and M2. Okay. Now M3 depending on the VP voltage and the VP that you will get here, VP voltage here, as per that, you will have this condition to be in saturation, right? So when V in common mode is very small, this VP is bound to be small, right? Because this has to be greater than VTH. So when V in common mode will reach VP plus VTH, then this M1 M2 will be working, right? So this voltage has to be greater than this voltage with threshold amount. Then this M1 M2 are working, right? Working means in linear or in saturation, not in cutoff, right? So this has to be, this difference has to be greater than VTH always, right? So when VP, when VP is above VTH, VP is above means in a way, uh, in, a, in a way it is greater than V in common mode minus VTH, this voltage, then these transistors, you can see that VP is also, when you compare it with VB, if this is conditions following, then this turns to saturation. So let me write down what I'm trying to say that VP should be should be less than V in common mode minus VTH1, or else VP should be greater than VB minus VTH. No, remember that VTH1 is body bias effect, VTH3 is no body bias effect, okay? This thing you should remember. So when these voltages are there, as per that, you can define the saturation condition of M1, M2 or as L3, okay? Now seeing from the plot, so current will start gradually increasing, right? So either M1, M2 or M3 will be in linear or means, uh, means or a saturation, right? But after it reaches ISS by 2, that is whatever amount of VB you are applying, the same IS as current will flow, right? So you should also remember that if suppose this current is fixed, then even you are varying V in common voltage, this VP will change in such a way, it will change linearly in such a way that this current will be fixed. So you can see here, after this threshold voltage has been crossed, this VP is linearly increasing, right? You are increasing V in common, VP is also increasing linearly. So what it is signifying that current has to be fixed. M3 will be allowing same amount of current, no matter what. So, it comes M3 ko moksh mil gaya hai. In a way, M3, when it reaches saturation, it will always flow ISS current. Okay, and so ISS by 2, ISS by 2, it will pull up, pull down. Okay, give me ISS by 2 current. So, this VP will increase linearly. Why it is increasing linearly? Because being on mode and VP, if suppose ISS current is phased, then BGS should be phased of M1 and M2, right? So, that's why it is increasing linearly. You are getting my point. Now, I suppose you see the plot of V out 1, V out 2. What is V out 1, V out 2? This is V out 1, this is V out 2. This is what? VD minus ID by 2 in R, RD, right? So, it depends on IDD. VD and RD is fixed. So, well, it, when all the transistors and saturation, this is the fixed. And when M1 and M2 are not 
working or were in cut off there was a supply hole this was a vd so this was the product we're getting okay so now nmos i have uh, uh, make your spread i think pmos is very easy right so let us see what is in pmos so again the pmos the changes are there right so this is the differential pair this is the current that is going to supply access and this is the rd rd right and here you will get the gain that is pure one and pure two right so again you will get the same thing here right now what we are doing we are wearing the beam core mode if okay, suppose we are wearing the beam core mode now this is vsg okay so you should remember that this is my vsg now here earlier it was vgs right so it depends on vp now okay if suppose beam core mode is varying now it depends on vp how vp is reacting right and here you can see again this is vd and vv right so this is vsg now so again the same way if suppose id if this id this is id and now suppose beam core mode is zero so look if beam core mode is zero here it doesn't mean that pmos will be switched off right because it depends on vsg so it depends on vp as well right so vp will be some potential if suppose vp is at some potential this transistor will be on and if suppose this m3 transistor vc and this vb it depends on the vp potential how you have biased this vp suppose it is biased in uh, near to uh, vp is biased in such a way that vp will be making this transistor in saturation mode then this will be in saturation right so what how it is looking it will be giving up iss current and this is how the circuit will be behaving right so what is the condition for saturation for m3 you can write on very easily right it doesn't it doesn't take much time so for m3 to be in saturation how will it how will you go you have to write down that vsd should be greater than vsg minus mod of vtp right simply speaking you can write on this way that vd should be less than vg plus mod of vtp so in case of nmos the drain can go higher than threshold but here the drain uh, drain can go gate potential plus threshold right in that in the nmos case right vd should be greater in what happens in nmos that vds when reaches vgs minus vthn the transistor will be in saturation now it can go lower than gain potential by threshold amount here the drain can go higher then threshold amount to gate potential okay this is the variation of pmos so if suppose you see again so this is vsg right for pmos now again you can see this is vp this is being convert the difference this difference can go by threshold amount so vp vp this is the source potential this potential and this is the gate potential right so this is vsg this has to be greater than vth and this v out one is suppose you see this potential v out one can go v in core mode plus some voltage okay so this can go up to that much amount this is the drain potential here so this is the drain here this is the gate here and this is the source here okay remember this thing so when you see here again id1 id2 this is the iss by 2 current that will be flowing okay because even this core mode is zero this is working as per to this flowing and then gradually all the transistor will be in saturation this or saturation is the threshold okay you have to check that thing how it, how it is behaving it depends on the beam core mode right if suppose beam core mode is zero what will happen that these transistors will be chances are that they are in linear region right and then gradually it will go to saturation right and this this m3 when if suppose these are in linear region it depends how this vp is with respect to the vb it can be More, more than VB by threshold amount. Okay, so this is the situation. So if suppose this is ISS current is flowing through it, and this is the same ISS to current is flowing through it. So suppose you see this is V out one, V out two. This is ISS by two into RD. This is the current that is flowing through it. Okay, so all the transistors are in saturation when V in core mode is less. Okay, and gradually it is going to decrease, and when VT minus VTHP potential will be reached. by v out one or v out two what will happen in that case this transistor this transistor will be losing its gate for potential amount right so this vp this when vd minus vthp this has reached this gate potential what is happening in that case so suppose 
this BP has reached VD. Okay, so this potential com mode can be what? It can be. It has to be greater. It has to be less than VTH amount, right? Because VST should be greater than VTH. Okay, so this has to be there. So when it reaches this potential, and if suppose further we are increasing com mode, then this transistor will switch off, right? So there will be linear here, and starting rate will be saturation. Okay, so these are the things that you should remember, and you should know how to solve the problem sessions. Okay, we will see in further problems. Thanks for watching.